okay uh, good morning guys uh, I'd like to uh, make some correction on the computation we did last time on the illustrative problem number one uh, on the computation of the plastic centroid uh, PC so on the last part here uh, there's a cut cut and paste error on the uh, on the uh, value of your area of the steel okay so on the last part when we solve we're trying to solve your yp here on the table computation okay so before i uh, show you the the error i'd like to remind you that uh, we have to be careful on the uh, numbering okay so if we place a number let's say mark one two three four means say we have four uh, components Okay, the number of components, which is primarily uh, made of concrete components and steel components here. So for here, since we divided the, the concrete section into two, the first component we are actually uh, dealing with is this one for concrete, okay? And this is the second component for... Uh, your concrete so the third component is the steel at uh, level one so this is marked as the third component and the fourth component is the steel at uh, uh, level two okay so this is on the basis of the XP computation when we when we compute uh, uh, our XP's But for uh, Y piece, our component for steel, uh, 3 is your 3, and this is your fourth component. So these are used for Y piece, okay? So you don't have to uh, uh, make sure uh, 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 they are actually mapped uh, uh, correspondingly uh, because uh, you will have problems with the answer if uh, you miss no, the uh, mapping okay so that's why if they are taking the moment arm and the area so the area now becomes ag1 ag2 and this is now your uh, as1 okay component and uh, as2 for uh, xp uh, the determination okay so this is now one and two so there's a correction here it's one and two okay for your x1 x2 and x3 and x4 uh, you have to make use of the distance x of the centroid let's say this is now the centroid So this is what is this? this is 50 and for the centroid here it is 150 okay and the steel is 50 and 150 it's just happened uh, the, coincidentally they are the same for the yp it's different no okay so this is now your uh, uh, 100 and this is your 150 for the concrete and for the steel this is the same as 50 and 150 okay so if I now uh, look into my computation table here I can check uh, my error Okay, my area now becomes uh, 20,000, 10,000. Okay, and then since there are two, two uh, pieces of uh, reinforcement here, I have 980 and 490. So let's check. Then I have uh, 50 and 150, 50 and 150. So there's no error on XP. So this is correct. Now for my YP, uh, I think uh, this is when uh i i missed uh, something here a typo error 
so my area is still uh, for the concrete area for the concrete is still the same 20,000 and 10,000 because this is one first okay and two and then for my number three so this is my layer three for yp this is the layer three so i only have one so i think uh, there's a in my previous lecture this is 980 and 490 so you just uh, reverse this no nagkabaligtad uh, siya but this is this this is correct i think this 100 150 50 and 100 so uh, the the value of yp is now 116.6667 so uh, there's a correction please take note on your lecture so uh, maybe i'll just upload the the uh, this new june lecture no? so that you you or you can correct it also in your notes uh, uh so that uh, you you won't miss it okay so this is the one that is erroneous in our previous uh, lecture i also gave you a an illustrative problem an exercise problem uh, i don't know if uh, you received it no so uh, this is a triangular section wherein the reinforcement is placed uh, shown so uh, again it's it's good to tag your reinforcement by layer no? on the uh, vertical direction this your we have three layers on the uh, horizontal direction we have uh, two layers okay so this uh, uh, vertical direction will be used for your XP computation okay and these two layers here will be used for yp computation so we only have one concrete the triangle we don't have to divide it no because it's manageable to compute for that triangle and uh, just locate the centroid this is the centroid so your uh, distance here is simply one half of uh, 300 is 150 and the distance here uh, sorry is one third of the height which is 260 so this is uh, 260 divided by 3 okay so you can now uh, make use of your table okay area of the triangle is one half 300 times 260 okay so this is just one half base is 300 times height is 260 so it's 39,000. The area of steel at uh, 2, so this is now uh, mark as 2, but it's at the layer 1. No? So this is the mark 2, mark 3, mark 4. Okay. So for 2, 3, 4, this is 490, 980, and 490 if you, if you look at the layer. So this is the layer. Uh, one layer. Uh, one bar per layer, two bars per layer, one bar per layer. So this is 490, uh, 980, and 490. Okay, the stress, so you know how to do it. So uh, but let's dig into the moment arm. The moment arm now for this uh, first layer is uh, 87. Okay. By the way, the moment arm of the concrete triangle is 150. The moment arm of the first steel layer is 87. The moment arm of the second steel layer is 87 plus 63, which is 150. And the moment arm of the third steel layer is 87 plus 63 plus 63, which is 213. Okay, so you just multiply area and stress, you get the force. Multiply the force and the arm, you get the moment. And then you simply divide the moment and the force, you get your XP. Okay, so that's how to do it systematically. Uh, which is better than doing it uh, in terms of equation.
Okay, for the computation of the location of the plastic centroid PC, uh, YP, the vertical uh, location, we now uh, have only three components, one concrete and two steels. Okay, so because you have only uh, two layers of steel on the horizontal direction, so this layer here stands for mark two, component three. Okay component 2 and 3 which is this one so again the area is the same for your concrete 39,000 the area of steel for uh, steel layer 1 is 3 times 490 which is 1470 and the layer of steel the layer of steel at layer 2 is a uh, one uh, re bar reinforcement only so this is 490 so for the moment arm, this is the, 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 the distance from the, plast, uh, the geometric centroid. This is just the geometric centroid is 260 divided by 3. Okay, which is 86.667. The distance of this layer of uh, 3 bars in this layer is 50. And the distance of this single bar in this layer is... 110 plus 50 is equal to 160. You just multiply force again, uh, sorry, area and stress to get the force and force times arm to get the moment. Then you will have your summation of the moment and the force. You just divide them, you get 82.70. Okay, so let, let's compare. No? If the, this is the geometric, geometric centroid, which is at uh, 86.67 and uh, uh, 150 so we will take note that the uh, the uh, plastic centroid location is a little bit below no uh, let, let's draw it if the centroid uh, is is uh, at the uh, 86.67 and 150 okay this is one half of that 150 your plastic centroid is slightly below it's somewhere here which has a distance of 82.7 no maliit ng konti mababa ng konti but still, your your uh, uh, xp value is the same as your uh, center of gravity, 150 pa rin yan, no? Okay, so that's uh, how, how uh, near your plastic centroid and your geometric centroid are, are really, no? But uh, again, for accuracy of computation, we need to compute for... Uh, your plastic centroid, especially for very irregular uh, sections. Okay, so I hope uh, you have tried uh, computing this and compare it with uh, my result, the result I, I obtained from this uh, solution. So if you have uh, other concerns and questions, you may ask uh, later. For now, I'll stop the lecture here. Uh, thank you for listening.